What's going on everybody? Figured I'd uh, make a video here. Got some nice weather outside and I'm home and I just received my new uh, pressure washer here. So I figured I'd make a video on it, a review essentially. And uh, I mean, to be fully transparent with you, I got this thing for free. I got the old one for free. And I told them, hey, you know, I'm gonna do a straight up honest review uh, I'm not gonna lie about things that are not the case just because I got a free pressure washer. This is no strings attached type of review. I didn't sign any contract, nothing. They just sent me out, said, hey, give us your honest opinion. So that's what we're gonna do. So first, let's show you this old one that I got. So you can see uh, my garage is a mess. Still trying to get everything organized. Still didn't finish with this dang truck. Uh, long story short, had the transmission rebuilt. We put it in, having all types of issues. Uh, we're like, hey, maybe it's the starter, not disengaging, blah, 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 a bunch of stuff. Finally pulled the transmission out, took it to the transmission shop. And the guy's like, yeah, no, uh, it wasn't seated in properly. And then when he got into rebuilding it and whatnot, uh, realized the flywheel is bent like a quarter inch. And that's when we did not seat fully. And yeah, section of the transmission had to get rebuilt. More about that on another time, but this is the pressure washer. So this is the uh, giraffe tools. This is the pro model. So it's stronger pressure. So this is gonna be a model P106. I do have their older model and I do have some other reels. I've had this cable reel. I absolutely love this thing. I use it on a daily. So you pull it. So you would pull it, that locks out, and then you would pull it again, and then that would reel it back in. I've had, I've had this reel for some time, and it's been absolutely awesome, absolutely amazing. I love it. And then secondary, I also have this uh, air hose reel, as you can see. Whenever you're airing up tires, painting stuff, doing stuff outside, or just doing your detailing with your tornado gun, it works absolutely awesome as well. Uh, A little project here this is my old one and the reel and everything still works great on it the only thing is the pressure washer is known to fail and leak so what i did is i just put a hose and used it just as a water hose reel but hopefully this hopefully this one doesn't have that issue and it is improved and better as well as you know it does cost more so this one's supposed to be higher pressure and i hope that they improve those things that failed on that previous one because i'm not the only one uh and i'm telling you what happened with it so that one failed it was leaking and uh i reached out to them and i said hey this is the case y'all sent me out this old one could you send me a replacement part to fix it and they're like how about we just send you a new one upgraded version so Time will tell how this does, and I will update you guys. So, yeah, let's get to unboxing on this. And uh, I am recording on my phone, so some things might look a little bit wacky on the screen. So, it is what it is. Got a trusty old tough built. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar to the old one. It's going to be your uh, nozzle head. Let me even see how this looks. Should be okay. Might even bring it in closer. Let's see right there. We're good. Might as well give me a little chair. So this is your nozzle. And the nice thing I like about their nozzle is obviously you got your quick, real quick release up top, but you also got your placement for your different nozzle tips, which is pretty genius if you ask me. So if you're in a washing, you want a different head, you don't got to run to pressure wash to grab a new one, which is usually where they're located. This is going to be your different tips. Looks like they include a foam cannon on this one. 
again, your manual. Get your foam cannon bottle. Here's your gun. Looks pretty much the same as the, as the other one. Um, it's good quality, nothing wrong with the gun. They never leaked or anything. It's got this little lever here so you can't squeeze the trigger, which is pretty cool. But almost at the same time, I wish they made it opposed, uh, opposite, so that you can lock in when you're washing something for longer periods of time. But to each their own, I guess. And then it is heavy on the heavier side. This is going to be your uh, garden hose attachment. Yep. And here you have a little filter and this connects to the uh, pressure washer. And I see that the uh, the reel is different color. It's gray because it is rated for higher PSI. It says 2610 PSI rated. still see it. Lower this down. And there we go. And it's glory. And this is for your uh, for your gun obviously. Reel that back in all the way. So this one's for your gun. And then back here, you're gonna have your bracket. This is how you mount it on the wall. And I'm assuming it's the same bracket as the old one. So this will be a bracket. Pretty much just put, you know, four bolts, put it on the wall, and then you just slide the pressure washer on. And then, you know, if it's, if it's outside and you don't wanna keep it outside, especially in winter, you can just slide it back out and put it inside. So that's gonna be the back of it. This is where your uh, garden hose attachment will go. Those are your attachments. And this is the front. I mean, it looks very much the same. This is your on off switch. And it's got your, uh, like, a, I don't even know what you call these, but like GFI type of outlet, uh, which obviously just keep this away from water but I do know that there's something about these types of outlets that are safer. Uh, and then this is, I believe, for your nozzle here to place it, and this here is for your foam gun. So what we're gonna do now is take off the old pressure washer, slap this one on, connect your garden hose, and see how it works. All right, got it connected on the wall. I know this, this is different than the other one. It's got kind of like a, access panel i'm assuming for the so you can replace just the uh, pressure washer motor if it goes out much easier uh, and then obviously your reel and then i just added some quick connects because my garden hose is way away from this i plan to run a faucet right here or whatever you would call it i don't have it plugged in yet before you ever Turn it on. You want to let all the air out. That will destroy your pressure washer. Run it for probably about 30 seconds at least. Every time you turn your pressure washer on. As you can see, I added this short handle from Chemical Guys. I believe it's Chemical Guys. I'm gonna air this out, and then I'm gonna probably wash my car. That'll do it. You can see what I'm talking about. It doesn't have the little access panel because your motor is right there. Put 
grab that. Let's grab this. Let's plug it in and get to work. So first impressions, it's really good. It's quieter than the old one. And uh, actually it's nice because it has a built-in feature. You can tell when you turn on the water, it doesn't kick on right away. It first gets some water flowing. It's got a delayed start and then it goes. So if you don't have any water in the lines, it's probably not gonna start. So which, that's really cool. And then the pressure, it seems really good as you can tell. But uh, what I wanna do next, I want to grab these guns. They did send me a gun, but to be honest, like, I don't feel like setting all that up. So I want to do is I want to throw some image wash, touchless wash, two-step into some foam gun and then wash the truck that way. Here, let's show you. So obviously this is not an image wash video, but this is some pretty good stuff that I gotta show you how to do it. And they have these two guns. Um, shout out to Image Wash. They sent me these out for a while back. Uh, all you do is throw this in there. One part's chemical, uh, three parts water, and you just run it up. You do the green one first, let it sit a little bit, and then do the second one. And essentially it's like a touchless wash, but I'm gonna do it with a cloth mitt or whatever you would call it, bucket, and do it this way. So we'll see how that works out. Let's get at it.
All right, well, finished up cleaning the car at least. Now we've got to clean up this mess. So in conclusion, after using it, I think it's a really good pressure washer. So far, so good, I'd recommend it. Uh, but we'll see how it does once I use it longer. Uh, and I'm probably gonna consider putting this thing in the garage and not outside the garage. Probably gonna mount it inside the garage somewhere. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll see how it does. Keep you all posted later. All right, well, as you can tell, it's nighttime. Figure I'd give you guys an update. I went ahead and uh, mounted it on the inside here. Use that bracket. I just used some three-quarter because your two-by-fours are not spaced the same way. Just use some three-quarter plywood. And then I mounted the bracket on there. And then I threw some screws so I can store these guns on here. The future might make a little shelf up here for some foam guns and whatnot. But yeah, this way, just got your on-off switch and it's not going to be outside getting rained on and nobody's going to steal it. Yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.